Well, it appears we are kind of in the midst of a, well, sort of Kevin McCarthy moment at the Idaho State House. You remember last fall when the Speaker of the House in Congress was booted from his position in Congress? Well, there's been a similar ousting of leadership in Idaho's House of Representatives. Not the Speaker, but the House Majority Leader. Republican Representative Megan Blanksma was voted out this afternoon just weeks into the session. It's a rare move that we're still trying to put the pieces together of how we got here. And so to kind of figure that out, Joe joins us now to kind of figure out what we do know about where things do stand now. Yeah, and, and uh, to be honest, there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes that we're not privy to yet, so right. we'll continue to chase these things down. But here's what we know today at 5 o'clock. The move today was put into motion on the House floor when a motion was made to have a vote to retain House Speaker Mike Moyle. Okay, so this motion was unexpected, but some sense based on the major arguments going on behind the scenes with how budgets are being set. So maybe somebody didn't trust Moyle anymore. Well, at the end of the vote, Moyle was actually retained as a House Speaker on a vote of 69 to nothing, with one lawmaker absent. House quickly, though, went back into recess, and the majority party, they went into caucus or a private meeting. And we've seen them make that move several times in recent days, having some really long meetings behind closed doors. Nothing out of the ordinary there. But caucus meetings allow lawmakers within their respective parties to essentially debate things like who should be their leadership team. And we found out that in that caucus, the Idaho House Republican Caucus, they voted to get rid of House Majority Leader Representative Megan Blanksma as the majority leader. House Speaker Mike Moyle, as well as the remaining members of the House leadership team, Representative Sage Dixon and Representative Dustin Manwaring, again, they all kept their positions after they fa faced a vote as well. So the vote tallies for all of those behind the scenes votes. Well, we don't know what they are. We don't know who voted for what. We don't know what the margin was because it's not public knowledge. So we're still trying to figure out exactly what that tally was. So what is all of this about? Why did this happen? Again, it comes during a very contentious time in the House. Republicans debating within themselves how budgeting should be done in Idaho. And we talked a lot about the battle in JFAC this week and previously. So of note, Representative Blanksma was the only member of the GOP House leadership team to vote against the maintenance budget that was hotly debated on the floor yesterday. And we talked about this at length. But we did get a statement this evening from Representative Blankma. She says, quote, to say that I am disappointed by today's outcome would be an understatement. However, I respect the process and accept the decision made by my colleagues in the House Republican Caucus. She says that she is proud of the work she has done and will continue to do as to how she became the fall person for what happened with the budgeting process. Blanks says, quote, it is our responsibility as elected officials to be vocal and express apprehensions over critical policy that will have major impacts on our state. And tomorrow is a new day that she says she looks forward to getting back to work. And Brian, a Republican lawmaker tells us this evening that they really don't think something like this has happened before. There has been a change of being voted out as that House majority leader, but that happened during an org session several years ago. So yeah. we're in some uncharted territory. And again, uh, we don't exactly know what's going on behind the scenes, but we do know the Republican caucus says that they will be having a new majority leader vote on Monday. So tomorrow's a new day. That vote won't come until Monday, though. So for tomorrow, there will be basically no majority leader on the House side of the State House. But it's going back to that tally, the vote you mentioned. Yeah. I even asked the lawmaker who was in the room kind of what was the consensus, and they were told they wouldn't be told. Like, they, that number was not going to be... Like couldn't like, get a tally at right, all. at all. So I don't know if it ever will be made public unless other than the three that were running the show back there will let us know. And I can say for a conversation I had, if you're curious about process, they, they physically do ballots into a box. So, again, we're going to keep talking with people at the State House and see if we can get to the bottom of this, but uh, pretty uh, shocking news. All right, one thing leads to the other over there. All right, thank you, Joe.